How you doing family? In two minutes, in three minutes, three minutes, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about crypto real fast. I'm gonna show you some real money. I'm gonna show you some real opportunities. So just give me three minutes, enjoy the music, and um, join the telegram. I have a telegram right in the link below. And um, I'm gonna show you how far I've been. I've been in this since 2016. Uh, I knew about it way back, and um, this is a great time to be alive. So, anybody that's in tune, just give me two minutes. Two minutes, family. Just give me two minutes, guys. Two minutes. You see this? You need to know about this. If you don't know about this, then you need to stay around. All right, two minutes left. Two minutes left, family. Like I said, if you don't know about this right here, you need to stick around. There are opportunities. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the computer. To show you all about this um, i'm also going to show you um, some real diamonds in the rough that i think that could potentially 50x within um, six or seven months all decentralized we'll teach you about what's centralized and what's decentralized and what's the advantage of centralized and what's the advantage of decentralized so i'm going to explain all that real quick this is all free game Free games. Give me, give me one more minute. One more minute, family. I'm going to let y'all see this and remember what this is. Because in one minute, I'm about to give you all the sauce. So if you like making money and you like knowing about the future, check this out. Just look at it. You got to know what this is, family. One minute left. Congratulations. Congratulations to the four people that's in this live. Um, if you really take this information seriously, um, this is going to change, um, guaranteed, your kid's um, situation, most definitely. Um, so we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and why you should know and why you should get in immediately. Now, people know about Cash App, how you can buy Bitcoin on Cash App. 
Um, just by the way, before I get started, um, Bitcoin is a distraction and crypto is a solution. So um, if we're gonna go about what they say, what's their narrative, they claim that they don't know who the creator of Bitcoin is. His name is Shotoku Nakamoto. And he's a Chinese guy that they don't know who he is, but for some reason they're utilizing his system and letting the whole world use it, but they don't know who it is. Okay, that's fine. But like I said, I'm gonna give you the rundown on what is cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency are um, different from stocks. The reason why cryptocurrency is different from stocks is um, um, stocks is a security. A security means you're buying something, you're purchasing something for um, basically own it, like it's a piece of ownership of that business and it's the value um, of that business. Now, cryptocurrency has utility. And what is utility? Like a car. Your car has utility. You buy the car, the car can make you money, you can drive it. Cryptocurrency has utility as well. So imagine a stock that you can build programs on top of it to reproduce more stock. You know, that sounds pretty cool, right? So imagine buying a token and you use the platform that's on this token and you can hold, it's like putting a hundred dollars and you can stake it. What is staking? Staking is like a CD, a certificate of deposit. A certificate of deposit is something that if I go to a bank, which is a, a bank is centralized. Bank is centralized is you have the KYC. What is KYC? That means know your customer. That means giving them your ID giving them your social security number. That is um, um, centralized, like Coinbase, like Chase. These are centralized entities that basically govern your money. So <clears throat> back to what I was saying, um, cryptocurrency and the token itself has utility, which means that I can buy a token and use the token on a platform um, that can reproduce more tokens. You know, some of these platforms have APY of like 35%. What is what is APY? That's how much interest you would get in a year. Now, let's think about that right now. Um, in traditional banks, the best CD, which is basically, if nobody, if nobody know, a CD is I put $1,000 in there, I make an agreement with them that I'm not gonna take it out in the hopes of interest. Now, the best interest that you gain from a bank it's probably like 5%, and that's that's if you're lucky. As of inflation going on, maybe 2%. So you only get 2% gains on them holding your money. See, very, really wealthy people um, live off their interest in a way. You know, they lock up a certain amount of money and they live off the interest. So in the traditional world, there are not platforms that are good enough to give you that good APY. So that's just one of the components why cryptocurrency is um, definitely on the move. I just wanna go live and let you guys know how knowledgeable I am about the situation and um, how deeply I'm involved in. And if you're watching this, I'm gonna show you some stuff on the screen, so um, stay tuned. Um, that being said, why is cryptocurrency um, something you need to understand and something you need to know and something that can potentially help your kids' future and possibly your future? So, um, supply and demand. The, the reason why the dollar is going um, down is because they keep printing more money. It's called inflation. What's an example of inflation, Harry? I'm going to tell you right now. An example is of, of inflation is like, you remember you used to get chips for like four, four dollar? And then they went to three, four dollar. They go for two, four dollar. And now, you know, the chips prices are, you know, they're high. And, you know, a person would, would think like, hey, they're raising the prices. Um, hey, um, you, you know, they're not really thinking um, on what's going on. What's going on is there's a devaluation of the dollar. That's what's going on. So the more money that's in circulation, the less that value, the less value that dollar holds. Now, um, there's three different types of ways that you can store your cryptocurrency. Now, one way that you can store your cryptocurrency is using an app like Coinbase. Coinbase is a centralized app. Why is it centralized? Because it needs your ID, it needs your social, they give you restrictions on how much you can send. Sometimes if you wanna sell, they can freeze your account. You know, just like Robinhood and some of these other um, 
trading platforms. So when you deal with centralized um, situations, um, you don't have no leverage. You don't have no leverage at all. And you have to pay taxes on it. So once again, the people that's here, if you stick around um, or maybe watch the video later, you're gonna see some really, really good information. And if you wanna contact me, you can DM. Definitely join the group. Definitely join my Telegram. Um, this is really what I do. So <clears throat> that being said, there's three different ways that you can store your cryptocurrency. Um, the way number one is the, the way that people do it. It's more safe to them. It's less risk to them. It's using an app like Coinbase or using Robinhood. The reason why is because when you put your money in these centralized platforms, um, these platforms ensure you they basically hold your money hold your crypto for you so that's one way um the second way that you can um have your your cryptocurrency on a digital wallet now what is a digital wallet harry i'm going to show you right now this these uh, mobile wallets like metamask um let me show you right now like metamask uh, MetaMask is a, um, a crypto wallet that currently you don't have to KYC. You actually can keep your money decentralized and you can have it on here. So that's the second way. And the third way, which is probably the most responsible way, which is the most, um, has, the most has the most risk. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that. That um that video is going around of that guy that does he doesn't remember um, these words. It's called seed words, and he has millions of dollars on the line because he does not remember he does not know these words. So, uh, for example, um, this is a, a Ledger Nano S. This is one of the original um, hardware wallets. That's what it's called. And what you do is you pretty much become your own bank. You know, so like I said, there's three ways of doing this. You can go the centralized way, where you can go on Coinbase and sign an exchange, or you can do the decentralized way, which is um, have MetaMask, which I'll show you this again. This is um, MetaMask. That's how you do it the second way, just decentralized. Or you can do it the third way, which um, opposed holding one of these, which is a hardware wallet. So like I said, there's three different ways to store your cryptocurrency. Um, the way that I prefer people is to be your own bank. Now, let me show you how you can make money without being um, taxed and without really being known. So just for example, you know, I'm not promoting nothing for criminals or anything like that, but imagine if you had all this cash, you have like 20,000 in cash, right? Now you get pulled over, you get in a situation, they're gonna say, where do you get this, this money? Where do you get this cash? So imagine if you had one of these, right? which is a Ledger Nano S. So imagine if you had all that cash and you go put it in like Bitcoin and put it in cryptocurrency and then you can store it on one of these. You know, there's nothing that the police can do in the world. These are foolproof. This is a foolproof thing. They can come and lock you up and you can spend 10, 30 years, whatever. But as long as you remember the, them words, you'll be able to have access to your funds. It's revolutionary, and um, a lot of people don't really understand um, how powerful that is, being your own bank, being able to store millions of dollars digitally instead of physically, being able to have millions of dollars and work the, and have the perks of someone who shows that they're not making money. It's, um, it's pretty remarkable. So, um, let me show you some charts, right? All right, let's look at some charts. So, um, you know, normally when people want to know about cryptocurrency, um, they normally just hear about Bitcoin right here. That's, that's pretty much what they, they all they know. But Bitcoin is a huge distraction for the small investor. So if you're a small investor and you're buying Bitcoin, that's cool for a long term um, situation. But, you know, people that looking for gains and looking for 20x, 30x, it's best to invest more lower down the totem pole. You know, the potential, the ceiling is way higher. So for example, 
um, there's 600, uh, what is this, million? No, billion. This is $600 billion in Bitcoin. So if you basically put $100 in this, co in this token, it has to be pretty much $70,000 for you to make $200. So you'd be like, oh, that's a good game. Uh, uh, 100X is pretty good, but Jesus, you have to basically be a trillion dollar market cap to, to double your money. That's, that's, that, that's way too high. So um, what I'm here to do and what my platform provides is the language and the information on how to access some of these lower coins because these lower coins have a higher ceiling, you understand? And a lot of these coins, um, just, I'm just gonna show you just a real example. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite coins that, you know, it made people so rich. There, there's videos that people are crying on camera thanking the developer of this project. That's pretty amazing. So let's just show you these charts, right? So the all time high of um, this coin is basically a penny, right? This coin been out for a little bit over a year. So over a year, this coin basically 40X. This is 4,000%. So that means that if you put $1,000 in, you would have had $40,000 if you would have put this money in a year ago. That's pretty amazing. And you basically can use MetaMask to have the wallet that that token belongs to. So you pretty much, and this is all decentralized. Don't, don't forget these terminologies. Centralized is when it's like a traditional bank. Decentralized is when no one knows and you have your money and you're your own bank. You know, that's what we're going to right now. So let me go right back to the hex price. So um, you can see for yourself, uh, this token, basically the all time low was in January 5th, 2020. And it's up 13,970%. Like 13, that's 139X. You put $500 in, that's $80,000. So basically, if you would put that $500 in that, in this day, you would have, once your money would have been 139X, actually 140X, to be precise, really. You know, and this is like, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the chart. Let's look at the chart. You know, so that's on like the lower side. So imagine what was the, the percentages when it was up here. You know, right now it's 139X since January. So this is a token that, you know, a lot of people don't know about. And um, there's gonna be a tons of tons and tons of gains because people are worried about these coins. And like I told you, this market, this coin will have to literally go to a trillion dollars just for you to make a hundred dollars. So Bitcoin has to be $70,000 for you to double your money. And you have all these situations down here, all these blockchains. Now, when you look at these, you know, don't look at them as just stocks. Look at them as utility. Look at them as a, as a stock that can actually um, make other stocks. You know, think about that. So I'm going to show you a coin that has uh, um, a, pla a social media platform, right? Now, this coin is a library, right? You're like, okay, what is library? Library is basically a top two, really top one uh, competitor against YouTube. YouTube is the biggest platform in the world. So check this out. This coin is now worth 10 cent, right? So let's just see, you know, what's the all time high? Let's look at this coin. So this coin basically came out 2016. It went to a high as a dollar and fifty. Then it went all the way down, and basically went to what is this? Less than a dollar. Went all the way down again, and went all the way to a dollar and thirty cent in 2018. And we're in 2021, and the market is taking off. So this 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 is currently ten cent, and it had an all time high of over a dollar and thirty cent. Now, you know, I was fortunate enough to purchase this token at a pretty, pretty low price. Like, look at this price. This is seven cent. You know, actually, I got it lower than that. It was actually one cent. Look in December, three cents. Three cents since December. And it's 10 cent now. And the all time high, the all time high is, a, is literally a dollar and 60 cent. And it's at 10 cent now. And it has a, a whole platform. It, this is basically YouTube right here. And they're paying you their token. So imagine if content creators go over here, 
people are going to, and, and some of the biggest content creators are already on here, like Alex Jones, which is the biggest um, conspiracy artist, I mean, conspiracy theorist in the world. So people are already going to this platform. So imagine instead of them paying you like a YouTube check, they just pay you in these tokens. And these tokens can appreciate and value in due time. So, you know, that's one of the things I pretty much want to show you guys. Um, today, XRP has been taken off. And um, I think it's going to just, you know, blow everything out the water eventually. So, hey, once again, this was um, <clears throat> just um, a little... A little taste of um, what I can provide for you and what my platform can provide for you as well. So um, if you're interested in getting involved in things like this, please join the group chat. Um, please hit my telegram up because um, at the end of the day, this is free game and um, life's not free. Have a good one.